Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail a bank. Now this one was um, expressly requested to me, but I was going to do it anyway, so really the order that I'm doing this is not in particular because I will be getting to detailing all of the town buildings and most of the major buildings in this game, but just because somebody messaged me and requested this, I'm going to be doing it sooner. So if you guys want to do the same and you've got something specific that you really need me to do quickly, please tell me and I can do that for you. So anyway, let's get into the detailing of the bank. Now, the bank truthfully is a really hard building to detail because you're left with all of this room and it's really hard, you know, what to, to tell what to put in here because there's not it's not like you can put a kitchen or like an eating area in here that really wouldn't fit in a bank. The only really defined areas you have is this checkout area over here and the vault cell itself. So let's start out with those because those are pretty easy. For the checkout over here, you're going to want to put some cash registers. Uh, they are named register. Some of you uh, in the comments, gosh dang it, I can't freaking place this. Somebody in the comments was complaining that I didn't uh, tell them what the names were of stuff. And I'm pretty sure I go over that every video. But uh, this video in particular, I'll try to make sure to name each one of them by name so you can search it pretty easily. So yeah, these two are registers. And guys, also, when I hover over them, you can see the name right there in the bottom middle. So if you guys are wondering why I skipped through it pretty fast, you can see all the names right there. So just pause the video, get the names. Of course, ones like these ones you can't really. So that's pretty simple for setting up this checkout area. But we can make it a little better. Uh, we can put maybe some chairs for the accountants or the bankers or whoever sitting back there to sit on. That'll just uh, make it a little more realistic. Obviously, I've got the chairs sort of randomized so that there's still enough room to get around back here. But, uh, you know, it seems like they've been moved aside in a natural way. Now, for the vault, uh, there's pretty much two methods you can do for this one. You've got the vault door right here. That's pretty easy to find. But you can either have the vault door up and blocking the way into this room. Not many maps have this just because it is kind of cool and nice to be able to get inside of the vault. But this would definitely be an option. Just have it closed. Don't worry about detailing the inside. Or you could have it sort of knocked down. And I will be showing you guys this way because obviously it takes more detailing. And sort of uh, skewed to the side. Sort of like it was blown open. Now, because this had to have been blown open, you that's why I've got the debris sort of stuff here. You can put some rebar down. Uh, you can detail it however you guys want with this. Make it look as natural as you feel it needs to be. I've also got some bricks here. You can. I'm just going to match these all down in here. It probably won't look very nice because there are many different types of materials sort of just thrown together. But yeah, you can definitely detail with some bricks as well. Or you've got the debris, which is a little overkill because it is really quite huge. But um, I'm sure, I mean, you could even sink it into the ground a bit so it's less obtrusive. But yeah, either way, you've got uh, a good amount of destruction here. Obviously, you probably don't want to use all of those at once because it looks pretty cluttery and messy. But if that's the look you want to go for, then go for it. It doesn't really matter. Now, in terms of the inside of the vault, you could potentially just leave it open. Um, you know that really wouldn't be a good idea you probably want to add some detail in there so something that's commonly done is uh, having these filing cabinets um, generally these ones do kinda look like uh, safety lockers those ones are more like the normal filing cabinets so we'll put these ones inside and pretty much just all you need to do for these ones is just line them up and space them nicely between each other obviously using the snap transform so the snap transform right now is at 0.5. It leaves kind of a big gap in between, so I'm going to mess with it just a bit. I'm going to put it at 0.4. See what that does. And, you know, that's pretty much perfect. I mean, there's still a tiny gap in there, but it's small enough that it really just seems like one continuous wall of filing cabinets. And now I'm going to try to center these. Uh, I might add one more onto this end. And then I'll center these. And guys, for the other walls, you could definitely put these on there as well. 
So filing cabinets, uh, this is files number two, in fact, not number one. Um, something else you could put in the room that I actually didn't think about till I looked inside is a wardrobe. Now that might look a little out of place, but I'm, I'm sure you could make it work truthfully because they, they store all sorts of stuff inside of bank vaults. So you could definitely make this work. Obviously spacing it nicely, you know, I put two down just for symmetry. Also something else that you could put in there that's very similar to wardrobe is shelf number three, uh, the classic bookshelf. You could also put that inside there. Uh, it just really depends on what you want the inside of your bank fall to look like. And I'm going to move this one away from that other files, number two, so that you can get inside it a little better. And so, yeah. So obviously I mixed and matched quite a bit in here. You could just make it all files. You could make it all wardrobes or all shelves. It doesn't, I mean, it really depends on your preference. Either way, you've got some place to store valuables in here. So that's pretty much the thought process and how to detail inside of the vaults. Um, in terms of out here, this is where it gets pretty hard. So in PEI, uh, the basic setup is you've got a couch, table, and then another couch on the other side of the table. And so this does work. Um, I'm just going to line these up nicely and use, oh, didn't copy paste that. There we go. And so, you know, this does work. And pretty much all that Nelson does in PEI is he takes this setup. And he pretty much just copies and pastes it down this aisle here. Now, this definitely works. Um, it's very simple. Oh, my snap transform is still at 0.4, so I'm going to switch it back to 0.5. That's generally a little better. Yeah, you line up the backs of the couches a lot nicer. So, you know, as I said, this is, this is decent. You know, it looks very simple. It's kind of repetitive. It's not really the best thing you could do for the inside of this. Um, this is a very challenging building to decorate, though. I would suggest using some sort of couches, though. So, you know, what I'm leaning towards as better for decoration is having some sort of couch here. Uh, we've got an awkward corner here, so we can slap a table down into it. Copy, pasting this, rotating it. You know, make, make these nice corners here that look pretty natural, nice, comfortable seating area. Now we're going to start by filling up the space like that. Obviously, guys, I'm not uh, adjusting it so that it's very precise. You know, these are not, obviously, they're different amounts of distance away from the table. You guys can fix that as you want. I do not have the time to do that. So another good thing to do to detail some of that area is put ATMs inside the bank. Now, this seems kind of off because generally they're found outside of banks or outside of restaurants stuff like that but uh, this is just another good way to fill up the area and make it a little more interesting and that would just be put ATMs inside the bank it's kinda like a self-service area because an ATM is essentially a mobile bank now I'm not sure I think I placed them correct distances apart it's hard to tell but yeah that just fills up this area right here and you know just makes it a little more lively inside so we still have a lot of room though so another thing you could do is you could place uh, round tables we could place them in sort of central areas and sort of just fill up the space that way as well I'm gonna put this one probably right around here it's a good distance from those other ones and I'm gonna copy paste it and I might I'll just leave two there that's pretty good and of course we'll put chairs around it just to add that little extra detail sort of just as I guess a waiting area maybe a consultation area where they could meet up with their banker and talk about their financial needs I really have no idea just something to fill the space though it's a little better a little less repetitive than just the couches and the tables you know in a pattern okay so there's that now we still have a lot more room obviously we filled up this area pretty nicely and we don't want to get too close to these ATMs uh, guys just in case you're wondering the name it's ATM number one these ones table wood number two chair wood number one 
we don't want to get too close to these ATMs because you need space to work on them. Like, for example, somebody will need space to actually, you know, interact with it. So we're going to have to leave this little corridor here empty, which is fine. Uh, something else you guys can use, we've got these couch number twos, and you can place those various places. I will place one there just to fill up the space a little better. Um, there's also some alternate things that you can do. So I've got these crate number one and crate number four here, and I've got uh, all the cardboard pieces right here. And depending on the style of bank, if you want it more run down, you can just start placing these to fill up the space. So for example, you could have a pile of crates over here. You know, you could have the table still, but have cardboard boxes on them instead of, for example, newspapers. So, you know, there's multiple things you guys can do uh, to sort of decorate this area, depending on the style of the map. Now, another thing that you can do that gets a little more creative, I guess, is you can start putting these uh, barriers down, uh, dividers down. And so pretty much the whole idea of this is just to divide off this area, make it more of a private lounge area, and, you know, sort of fill up that space a little more. Obviously, you guys can place dividers as far as you want. I would leave some sort of gap to get into this area. And obviously, you want to leave a pathway to get to the bank vault. So those are just some other things to consider. And so, yeah, you can do this with both types of dividers. Uh, this divider is a little taller, so it shields the space a little better. But either way, it'll work. You know, it's, it's very unique, actually. I've not seen this in a bank yet. And, you know, it could work. It could work. Um, something else, this wall is looking a little bare. Uh, we can put some more filing cabinets on there. I'm not going to pack those ones quite as tight together as the other ones because, you know, obviously there's limited space inside the vault. And these are more of just uh, maybe personal information files. I don't know, something else like that uh, the cashier or the banker might use. And so, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, it still leaves an awkward area here. There's not much. You're gonna you're gonna be left with some awkward areas. That's pretty much the reality of it. There's too much space in here to fill it all with realistic looking items. So you're definitely gonna be left with some space. Um, a few more detail things that we can do to this uh, because it has such large windows. We can actually put some glass here. That'll because we are left with some open spaces. We can put this glass down, and that'll sort of increase you know the quality of the building, how nice it looks. So that's definitely an option. However you want to do that is up to you. Obviously, I would have some on the bottom and on the top. Uh, pretty much the way to do it on the top is just flip it upside down. And, of course, you guys can have different varying levels of how far in it is. You know, Obviously, do that to all the windows if you're going to do it to one, though. Make sure it's consistent all the way around. And, guys, this glass is destructible in-game. So if you're worried about it being, like, a, ba a barrier or whatever, people can't get through the windows as well. They can just shoot it down. It's not a super big deal. So in terms of drops for inside of here, in PEI, it's pretty ridiculous, actually, and Washington. What kind of drops you find in here? I really am not in favor of the drops you find. For example, you find baseball bats, eagle strikes, knives hammers, weird stuff like that, stuff that you're not usually going to find in a bank. Like, who brings a gun into a bank? You know, like, seriously, that's a huge security risk. I just wouldn't be leaving those types of item drops in here if you want to be realistic. Now, if you want to stay consistent to what maps, what the maps are known for, you know, the classic type of bank that you find in PI in Washington, go ahead and do that, you know. that That is an option, I guess, for how you want to style your map. But some suggestions, you could leave small handguns would be alright. Don't make too many spawns for those. Obviously you could leave a few clips for that and mags around. You could leave some f small food items, maybe a backpack, a shirt, maybe a jacket. Probably not pants, that seems like a weird thing to find inside a bank. Like maybe somebody could forget their jacket, but nobody's really going to forget their pants. Around the ATMs, you could leave some extra uh, loonies, toonies, and cash and stuff, because those are items as well. But of course, if you guys power these, you can access these, and they'll give you more of that stuff anyway. Inside of the bank vault itself, you usually find more robber-type equipment, more ranger stuff. So you find, like, ranger muzzles, hoodies, um, balaclavas, ninja swords... 
katanas, all sorts of stuff like that. Cries Karek, uh, Zbuknov, all those ranger weapons. You tend, generally tend to find those things inside of there. Um, outside in this area, I really have no I have no good suggestions. I really have no idea what you're gonna put in here. You could put cloth, I guess. You could put maybe some metal scraps. Uh, duct tape would definitely be a good one for this building. Same with glue. Cloth would always be good. You know, besides that, maybe common household items. Yeah, so it's pretty hard to detail these well, but hopefully this gives you guys an idea of how to do that. How to fill the space. It's definitely the most challenging part, just filling the space up in a realistic way that doesn't look awkward you know so anyway guys so hopefully this helps you all uh, if you did like it please like the video and subscribe if you want to see some more i will see you all later